Those of you who have 2020 vision, count your blessings because wearing contacts is awful. Like, that feels horrible. <laughs> At the risk of sounding like I'm complaining, I'm complaining. I'm on my second day of my period. I'm not feeling good. But I thought maybe talking to the camera would would um help, help me. me. I had a very fun weekend. Some might say a little too fun. Today's Monday and it's the start of a new week. And then this weekend is Halloween weekend, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, Claudia is having a big Halloween party at her and Jesse's house, and I'm being Taylor Swift. And I have been working on recreating her lover bodysuit from the Heirs tour for the last two months. Also, I need to do this hand of my nails. I did this hand last night, and look at it, it's so cute. They're little pumpkins, bloody handprints, and little stars. What's the temperature like today? It is 48 degrees out right now. Wow. I need a nice chai latte in my hand. Like, I just don't understand why some people were born with bad eyesight. I got glasses when I was in second grade, so I was like nine years old, but I could have gotten them way before that. And every day I put this contact in and it just, it hurts. It feels irritated. There's something wrong with it. I gotta recalibrate. Sometimes you just need to get things off your chest, you know? <sighs> also, why do they make sweaters itchy? Who the fuck wants to wear an itchy sweater? I got sensitive skin, and if my sweater is itching me all day, who knows what beast will be unlocked? Because we all know there's something in there that I have been hiding away. That's better. Okay, I can breathe now. Chai latte, chai latte. When I'm feeling like this, I just gotta find something positive and focus on it. Do I look pretty now? <laughs> Good enough. Send a 
Pop. Yep. This is like unintentionally very creepy because I don't have eyebrows. Like I don't look like myself, which we all know I love. This is probably the last Halloween makeup I will do before my actual Halloween costume, which I'm so excited about. It's been a good year of doing Halloween makeups. If you wanna see me do these makeups, it's all on my TikTok. This took like three hours. <laughs> Which like, is kind of crazy, you wouldn't think, because I'm just like blue with some cuts on me, but covering my eyebrows, oh my God, you literally like can't feel them at all. Covering my eyebrows takes so long, so my eyebrow hair is so thick. And also the paint like sticks weirdly to them, so I spent like another fucking hour trying to blend them properly into my skin, but <laughs> it just not just came out of my nose. Also, I, I made this top. This is actually stitched but it took way too long and I fucking stabbed myself. Oh, and I was gonna show removing it, but I don't know how that will work because I removed most of it in the shower. So <laughs> you're not getting that. Let's start with a cleansing balm. We're gonna take a whole fat chunk of this. Here we go. Say goodbye to her. I'm just using this shirt. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna get in the shower now. I got some leftover pizza dough. I've got some leftover pizza sauce. I've got basil. That's basil for Americans. Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, salmon, go to Turkey. Yeah. This fucking toy I keep thinking is a piece of shit, so I'm throwing it away because I can't take that anymore. I just got a sudden urge to not want to do this anymore. That's my cat. He doesn't know manners. Okay. Last time I made the dough way too thick, so. Percy, stop. You're violating the camera. I don't really understand how people do this, and it's really cold. This doesn't look right. <laughs> My mom, when she gave birth to me. <laughs> We're making a personal pan pizza for one popular pretty girl. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot the oven. What? Um, I'm gonna use a spork to put on the pizza sauce. And that's the secret. This is Rao's pizza sauce. I love you, Rao. <laughs> whoever you are, you kind of changed history when you came out with your sauce line. I feel like I'm making a Lunchable for an adult. Everybody here was something that we found. Searching for the one they haven't heard before. And we're so welcome to New York. We're gonna do just a couple basil leaves. And that's how you make it. <laughs> now I know we all are gonna wanna see it when it's done. We'll see. We'll see about that much, I don't know. I can't tell that far into the future. I'm gonna chug some elderberry syrup. That's me trying to avoid getting a full-blown cold. Yum. Oh wait, could you not even see it? That would suck, bro, for you. Now we just wait for the oven to heat up to four or whatever. Whatever I put on it, that's what's gonna do. <laughs> Everybody always asks me, Kennedy, how do you stay happy? This is how. Listen, you don't gotta be good at dancing to get up and dance. And we won. Ruby, no! Another way I stay happy is by talking about my feelings with people that I trust and never ever shutting up about how I feel and telling everyone everything. I don't keep anything bottled up. That's like literally the secret to life. Whether it's a family member, a friend, a therapist, and if you don't have anyone that you feel comfortable talking to, you might benefit from using something like BetterHelp. 
which is the sponsor of this video. I love working with BetterHelp because I am somebody who truly believes that everyone should be in therapy and it doesn't matter if you don't have anything major going on in your life right now. I just feel like a lot of people have things, whether it's from their past, that they just haven't fully processed. You don't realize how important that is and how much it affects your subconscious mind. And if you'd like to try therapy and you don't know where to start, BetterHelp might be for you. I myself have been in therapy several times before. <laughs> You're surprised. Sometimes the idea of going out and into the world and finding a therapist that you actually mesh well with is just very overwhelming and so you just might not want to even try. The thing I love about BetterHelp is it just makes therapy so much more accessible. I myself have had an experience where I tried to go see a new therapist like years ago and it just was not a good, good experience and it kind of put me off of therapy for a while. But the thing I love about BetterHelp is, first of all, you can schedule your sessions whenever you want on your time and you can do them over text, over call, over Zoom. So it really all just goes at your pace and it's whatever you're comfortable with. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, which is just like so much more than what's accessible to you in just your area. To get started, all you do is go and fill out a questionnaire that assesses your specific needs and then you'll get matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less again you schedule your sessions when it's convenient for you and if you happen not to click with your first therapist then you can easily switch to a new therapist with no additional costs and no stressing about your insurance or anything if you think you might be somebody who would benefit from therapy you can click the link in my description or you can go to betterhelp.com kennedy and clicking that link will give you 10 percent off your first month at BetterHelp. people spend hours at the gym every week so why not give your mind that same kind of attention because it really is so, so important. And over 4 million people have started using BetterHelp for a happier and healthier life. We're human beings. We all need someone to talk to. And sometimes we need a little unbiased advice. You never know what you can learn from a therapist and the connection that you can make with them. So again, if you wanna try out BetterHelp and maybe give therapy a try, you can click the link in my description or go to betterhelp.com Kennedy and clicking that link will give you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Help. And thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to it. I'm going to New York this weekend and I'm very excited. I went to New York like two months ago and it was just really fun. And not gonna lie, a part of me did not want to come home in the sense that like, I don't like the area where I live. <laughs> I've always wanted to live near my family and I'm only 23, so I could very well move at some point in my life, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways, I'm going to New York this uh, weekend with my best friend Scarlett. Last time I went to New York, I kind of planned out specific outfits. Normally when I go on a trip, I just pack like all of my favorite clothes and end up like throwing something together. But this last time I tried uh, being like a minimalist packer. So I took my smallest suitcase for like a four day trip which is insane for me. I just planned my little outfits out and it was actually super helpful because I hate like putting outfits together when I'm actually getting ready for something. It's really stressful to me. Now it's like chilly fall, which is my favorite season to dress for because I love a good trench coat. We only have really like one major thing planned, which is that we're going to sleep no more, which is like, all I know about it is that it's an interactive play basically. I'm so excited. like. Ooh. This is why I love New York because they have so many artsy little things that I just don't have in Maryland. Somebody told me about Sleep No More years ago and I wanted to go so bad, but I didn't have time on that trip. So ever since then, I'm like, every time I go to New York, I think about it. I think they make you wear a mask, like a, like a drama mask, not like a COVID mask. I think it's a Shakespearean play and the actors are just like phenomenal and don't break character, obviously. And then like, people come and walk around, I don't know. I have been very focused on my art shop and this next launch that I'm doing, which I'll probably talk about later in the video. I'm gonna take my little video camera to New York and just film whatever and put that in this video, hopefully. Oh, I forgot we can flip the camera too. Oh my God. Wait, this is so cute. I know. Mini Scrabble. We're just big, actually. <laughs> we're, we're, we're actually. Oh my god, I'm so weird in a British accent. We're, we're actually fucking giants. <laughs> we're actually fucking behemoths. <laughs> she pulled up 
pulled an I, I pulled an N. <laughs> I before N. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you don't see that. <laughs> Did I tell you that my senior quote was supposed to be ovary before broberies and I literally came to my math class and told me face to face that it wasn't appropriate for the yearbook and that I couldn't be my senior quote. Holy and, shit. In like the middle of math class. I was like, Okay, it's leaving from Parks and Rec, bro. Like, it chill. Wait, why? That's I don't like, know. so sexist. I know. I remember being like, okay. I know this isn't a word, not gonna lie. But, boof is a word. We agree. Oh, yeah. Okay. You said boof. Oh, you did say boof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bussy. Bussy is the beef in the butt and the pussy from the pussy. Where <laughs> yeah. is that in the. If anything, it would be like, boof pussy. <laughs> Please, it's not a word. I still need one more letter to make the word, but it's a cool word. Good for you. I'm happy. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so Ellie Kemper. That was so Ellie Kemper. Oh shit, you're about to hate me. No. I don't know. Yeah. Well then, just make it quick. <laughs> Are you like seeing how amazing of a move this is? That's actually against Scarlet. It's Kennedy. a triple letter. Like, the word kangaroo, what are the odds of pulling that? That's the word I was talking about just now. I actually want to cry. How I had Kanga up to here. And I was like, the next one I would need, no, I had Kangar. Mm -hmm. I was like, the next one I would need is an O. That's and I was like, stunning. Honestly, that's stunning. And I don't even want to know how many points that is. <laughs> it's no. a seven letter on a triple. It's an eight letter, actually. Eight letter on a triple. <laughs> oh my God, you holding that is so cute. That is so amazing. You literally look like a guy. <laughs> It's so small. I know it's okay. I want to put it in my mouth. Oh, I would eat a. Eat. And now you can record me making hot chocolate. Yes. Do you think that's enough? Yeah. Okay. For two, two little mugs of chalky. Hot chalky. Hot chalky. Hot cocoa. This is the brand we're using. You can zoom in on that. <laughs> it has a handle. That's my favorite part of it. Yay. Yup. Yeah. That looks so good. Well, what does the direction say on the side? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you crazy. Is this is my chocolate soup. Oh, it's already starting to melt. Yup. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's bubbling. Girl, this is gonna be hot as fuck. Okay, here's our options. We have Christmas tree. We have Santa Claus. Santa. We have a candy cane. Oh, I love this one. And a gingerbread man. Zoom in on Track. Track. It's me, Santa, and I'm about to take a dip in my hot tub. Ready? Oh, please get me out of here! Okay, whoever was doing that one, you slacked. What's your name, Jenny? <laughs> Jenny, the baker who works for William Sonoma? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. It's just icing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cheers. <laughs> I feel that word. <laughs> okay, really? See, there's an SNL skit where he does that voice. Oh my god, Kennedy, we have it's one of the funniest SNL skits <laughs> ever. And he, that's literally where the voice comes from now that I'm thinking about it. He plays this old man and he comes into school for career day and he's like this old man who owns like <laughs> okay, a to watch petrol right company. No, please, it's so funny. Kennedy, you're gonna cry of laughter. And in my opinion, that's how it makes a fire. Hello, boy. How are you? Look at your father, boy. Dude, why do I kind of want to fuck him? Like, seconded. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? Like a fucking freak with giant ears and a weird face that I grow to love. Look at me, boy. <laughs> look at me, boy. Dude. Look at look upon your father. I love that. I was born seven months too early. Incubation technology was still in its infancy. I was born seven months early. <laughs> Who wrote that idea? That means that she was only pregnant for two months and then they put it in a cast iron pot and a pizza. <laughs> I was born seven months early. <laughs> Birthday, let me see that beautiful face. Oh, yes, ma'am. There's the suitcase. Here's the travel fit. Here's the travel fit. My babies, I'll miss my babies. Yep, that's a great shot. <laughs> we 
We have made it to our hotel room and we have changed. I am wearing a dress, some boots, and a sweater. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a jean skirt, a sweater, and a blazer. Where'd you get that sweater from? This is from Kennedy's Closet. You Ooh, I love that out. store. You look amazing. So do you, babe. Yeah. That's gonna eat. Yes. Mm, it's not that clear. Probably be the first and last. Okay. So you better savor it. As I will, because I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. I have not eaten since a smoothie this morning. We are sleeping. We are taking the ferry to Brooklyn to see our friends and have a lovely day. We're giving such 90s right now. I've never taken the ferry before. Have you? I have. Absolutely shredding. She's ripping that fiddle. Ripping <laughs> that fiddle. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh. She twerked, huh? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> she shaked them bones a little. I'm queasy. I just followed that guy. I'm gonna add a sound effect. Okay. Ready? Do it again. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's very purge esque. That is in. This is just for a video if somebody's watching this. We definitely don't want to be let in. <laughs> Please don't let us in. We're here with Kennedy Welsh. She is dedicated to wearing a beanie above her eyes for the rest of eternity because she saw that one cartoon character who did it and it looked real cool and now she is the cool one. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> and I dance and move my feet because my name is Kennedy. You are real cool. <laughs> Hello. Hello, child. <laughs> Like the bathroom. <laughs> that works somewhat. Mama. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm glowing. Ever since I've got back from New York, I've been feeling a little bit down. I love coming back home to my cats and my bed, but I don't know. I feel like I'm changing. The more, the older I get, the more social I want to be, which is weird. I feel like there's this big part of me that is just craving human interaction 
these days and I've spent so many years just like isolating myself and now I'm kind of just like, oh, I want to meet people and I want to experience things and I want to go places and live. And so I think I'm just going to start traveling more. I have this inkling inside of me to move and just throw myself into a whole new life. We'll see. We'll see what 2024 brings. And for some reason when I'm on my period, I also feel extremely lonely. It's just like the loneliness really grows exponentially and I'm like, I was fine two days ago. Okay, I turned on my lights. Hopefully that's a little bit better. But yeah, I've definitely this whole last year really gotten a, a good grip on my mental health in general. And I feel like things that I, I, I've talked about this, but I feel like things I was once so, so afraid of, things that seemed impossible to me are now just normal, which is like <laughs> such a good fucking feeling. And I don't know, I kind of just feel like I'm coming into my true form as a human and I'm so much happier these days and I can handle the bad days a lot easier. Time to do some Christmas decorating. now. i
around by fate like on an unexpected date with a stranger whom I talk too fast or ask me questions about myself before I've decided that he can ask me questions about myself he might sit too close or call the waiter by his first name or read Oreos but eat the cookie before the cream but what scares me the most what scares me the most is what if when he sees me, what if he doesn't like it? What if he runs the other way and I can't hide from me? Y'all do too think you're being a little, I mean, maybe just a, a tad. I'm not defensive! I'm simply being cautious. But he could be criminal! Some sort of psychopath who escaped from an institution somewhere where they don't have girls. He could have mastermind some way to find me. He could be colorblind! Did I get the part? That song is way too relatable. <laughs> and, 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 and so is this one. 7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. Starting the chores and sweep till the floor's all clean. Polish and wax, do laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again and by then it's like 7.15 and so I'll read a book or maybe two or three. I'll add a few new paintings to my gallery. And then after lunch, it's puzzles and darts and baking. Paper mache, a bit of ballet and chess. Then I'll stretch, maybe stretch, take a climb, so a dress in the same place I've always been. And I'll keep wondering and wondering and wondering and wondering. trying to be my Hans. <laughs> and by that I mean enter into a toxic relationship with me. Okay, can I just say something crazy? All my life has been a series of doors in my face. Well, I was thinking the same thing. Cause like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. But with you, I found mine. I see your face and it's nothing like I've ever known before. Love is an open door. <laughs> Love is an open <clears throat> With you, with you. Love is an open door. I mean, it's crazy. What? Sandwiches. Closing by. Can I say something crazy? Will you marry me? Can I say something even crazier? Yes! That was so fun, guys. I love karaokeing together. We don't talk. <laughs> you're telling the story, you're am I? I'm sorry, I'm maybe it'll go on. Bruno says, this is really hard to sing. Now I know why it was so bad at the Oscars. I'm kidding, okay? Let's calm down. Something I really enjoy doing at night is watching um, like street food compilation videos. And the other night I saw one and it was like chopped up watermelon. They chopped up watermelon into cubes and then they added sugar and ice and it just looked so good. And so I was like, I, I need to do that. Basically add this. God, I'm already like salivating. 
I literally feel like the guy in the video. Oh my god. I'm gonna add some of this grapefruit Izzy that I got from Chipotle. And then some ice. And a little bit of water. It's probably not the best cup to use for this. That looks pretty cool. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's nothing like what they made, but not exactly. Okay, that's amazing. Whoa, that's insanely refreshing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move to New York. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. You're cute, you wanna see, you wanna be in your outro? Percy is so needy, he's my needy baby boy. Also, guess where I got this sweater from? The Target Kids section. Yeah, <laughs> it was 20 bucks. Like, some people won't be like, yeah, it looks like it's from the Target Kids section, but to me, that's pretty awesome. Like. To be honest, some of the clothes in the Target kid section are like cuter than the ones in the adult section. Oh, look at that big boy. Look at that big boy. He's so big and handsome. He will literally let me do anything. Like, <laughs> I fucking love him so much, it hurts me. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you liked the, the video camera footage. I know it was kind of like all over the place and a little bit shaky. I'm just glad I got any footage at all from New York because I really didn't think I was going to. I'm sending lots of love to everybody out there who might need it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.